Hi guys, it's Don from farfaway.org. Thought I'd do a couple of videos just to show you how to get going with the Malifaux Vassal module. So first off, uh, this is uh, Vassal loaded up here. Um, you can see other modules are listed here if you have used any in the past. If not, this window will be blank. There'll be no modules listed. So let's uh, load in the Vassal module. So go to File. Obviously this is on the Mac, but it's very similar on other uh, operating systems. Open modules, what you want and then select the downloaded module. So this is version one that was just released a couple of days ago. Open that up and you see an import here uh, processing the different images. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so there we have it, the module itself is launched. Um, so you have a couple of options here. So what I'm going to show you is how to create a new map, or specifically how to modify one of the existing maps. So we're going to start a new game offline, um, and we're going to choose one of the existing maps. So let's take Bog's Hole here. This is a worthwhile step to pay attention to. You can select which player you're going to be. Um, but you're better off if you're going to just be creating this map for sharing just to stay as an observer. Um, you'll see in game it limits some of the gameplay functionality but it limits none of the map fin functionality. So finish there. Uh, we have to hit that again. And then we're into here. Okay, so I've zoomed things in so we can see the full display. Uh, so here we have the loaded up map. I'll just pull this up here so we can see more of it. And you can see the individual bits of terrain. Uh, you can see useful height markers here so you can see how high that piece of terrain is. Um, when you just click an ordinary left click you can't interact with the terrain. It's on a different layer. So to interact with it hold the shift key on your keyboard and just left click and you can see this central item has been highlighted. So let's run through some of the basic controls. Um, you have a right click menu on it which you can clone that piece, so let's clone that, drag it off, and there's another piece of terrain. And you can see it's placed on the appropriate layer. We can alter the layers again if we want it to be higher or lower than it currently is. Uh, a commonly used one is to delete a piece, so Control D or select it from that menu. So let's shift this and select this one again. Uh, you can rotate, so as you can see, varying different angles to rotate, just keyboard shortcuts. And also, there's a free rotate, which just allows you to rotate it through any angle. And release it there. So, don't particularly like this muddy patch here, so I'm going to delete it. And then I'll show you how to add another piece of terrain. So, if we go to the objects uh, menu here, uh, you can see initially it opens up with access to your models, but we want to look in terrain. Uh, specifically, we want to look at some of the structures, and I think some gremlin structures would be useful here. One of the things I found with this menu on the top left is there's a slider here that you can pull across um, to give you a little bit. Well, you can, you can actually see the different buildings. So let's just grab, say, one of the shacks. A um, little bit big, something smaller, actually, one of the huts. Grab that down, drop it in place, and there's your piece of terrain. Click off of it, and, and it's fine. If you want to collect it, select it again, shift-click. And they're the basics of, of terrain construction. Um, in terms of the layers, the only times you, you often want to use them is if a piece of terrain just isn't sitting quite right. You want to ensure that the trees are at the appropriate level. So for example, this walkway here, um, if we wanted this to be higher, um, we can alter the layer and select it onto something quite high. So, you know, if we want to put on a tower, you can see now where it's sitting above those trees. So if we were to build walkways that were actually quite tall, uh, you could do that. Uh, and again, you could put it back down to the appropriate layer, so this is probably uh, platforms and rocks. So the names of the layers are just guidelines. They're quite useful, but you can place them at any layer you want um, so that the terrain sits appropriately on top of each other. When you're finished editing the module, uh, you can simply go up to the file menu, select save as, that'll bring up your regular save controls and you just save the file and you can distribute that. The file type is a vsav.vsav uh, and that can be distributed to anybody who has this version of the module. They'll be able to load it up and because you saved it as an observer they can enter as player 1 or player 2 and continue from there and, and play their game. So thanks for watching 
and uh, the next video I'll run through some of the basics of, of controlling and your models and working with the module.